Living on an island, we don't have room for all of our trash, let alone True. old cars, appliances, larger items. And that's where many of those big, giant things go to die. <laughs> that's where island recycling comes in. Excuse me. It's a place where all those broken down items go to be reborn again, you might say, as we learn in tonight's Business Matters report. As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And if that's the case, Jim Nutter is sitting on a treasure trove. Nutter is the president of Island Recycling, a company that brings in tons of goods across the island every single day. Anything and everything you could imagine. You know, Jim, you look around some of these piles, I see everything from car parts, appliances, even an airplane. Are you yourself kind of shocked about what you see in these piles on a day to week to monthly basis? Yeah, I'm always amazed, absolutely amazed. It's, it's incredible what does come in and uh, everything from, you know, fire trucks to huge tractor trailers down to household goods like refrigerators and washing machines. When it comes to the most shocking item he's ever seen come through, that would be the subject of one of the most memorable stories in Hawaii history. You know, one of the things that, you know, we've done was that when uh, Aloha Airlines was in existence, they had that one fatal crash where the, it became a convertible. Aloha Flight 243. Yeah, and uh, we recycled that plane. Everything you see here will either be cut up or broken into smaller pieces and then run through a shredder. The smaller pieces then to be loaded into a container and shipped out for others to buy. A huge operation that started small and by chance for Nutter nearly a half century ago when he went to a job placement center after grad school and found an opportunity for a manager trainee position. And I went down and it was for Reynolds Metals Company and now they call it Reynolds Recycling and they had just started buying aluminum cans. Now we're talking about the you know, early 70s. Today he still collects aluminum cans and he also has an entire canyon of cardboard and reams of old phone and electrical lines. All of it to be given a second life. And isn't that the whole concept of recycling? That, you know, we take this material in and we do make new product out of it. This is really kind of, in a sense, doing the community a great service. Well, I believe so, you know, because, you know, the landfills, we don't want to fill landfills in this state. We don't have landfill room anymore, and nobody wants it in their backyard. And although it seems like some of these piles may have been sitting here for years, Nutter says everything you see is actually turned around pretty quickly. Yeah, you know, every two or three months, the uh, whole pile's been changed out, and we have a whole new pile again. So, you know, it never quite goes away because it's always coming in. And we have to do that to maintain business. We have to keep buying all the stuff that we do. Although he's found great success in recycling, it hasn't been without challenges, including most recently new tariffs and new guidelines by foreign countries, many of which now ban the importation of U.S. recyclables. But he says for him, the key to success is always to just keep charging forward. You just have to keep working and working and working, and there's always a rainbow at the end. That's what you got to remember. The world's always changing. Who we sell to is always changing. You have to have change. You know, if you don't have change, you'll go out of business. He also says his business reminds him daily that there's a larger lesson for all of us. We don't want it in the landfills. You want to be able to get it out. You want to ship it off island. We have a pristine environment here, and we have to keep it. And that means if you're on the beach and you see a piece of steel or paper or whatever it is, pick it up, you know? Pick it up, put it where it belongs. So get it to the right place so we don't have these problems. Isn't that a great way to look at cool. it? Get everything to its right place, no right. matter how small or how big an that was, airplane. That was fascinating. And the claw. The claw. I got to tell you, it's kind of like like most boys and many girls growing up with Tonka toys and the claw, yeah. and you pick up. I mean, that's like the real life side. That, that was, was fun. Awesome. I, wanted to, I wish I had my grungy jeans on. I wanted to go <laughs> rummaging, and I wanted to operate the claw. But anyway.